Hey guys, it's me. So I wanted to show you a little uh, cool trick with which you can F5 debug Angular projects using Angular CLI, but just F5 debug them and, you know, attach breakpoints and so on and so forth. It really smoothens out your workflow when writing Angular code in, in VS Code. So I'm using a utility here called Zoomer. Uh, it's running in my system tray. It's available on the Mac App Store. Basically, it allows me to, you know, like zoom in easily into any part and draw. It's very nice when you're giving presentations. Anyway, let's close this. So basically, what I have here is a simple Angular project. I just did ng new, nothing, nothing specific, nothing special. And inside here, I created this dot vs code folder, and I dropped two files in here. Uh, in the pinned comment below or in the description of the video, I'll include a blog post link where I describe what these files are doing. So check out uh, check out that link. Anyway, so basically once I drop these two files and now I can simply hit the play button or F5. And if you're using a Mac with a touch bar, you know, that's uh, you get the play button and debugging and all of that. So it launches a new instance of Chrome. You can customize these actions further so you can do things like, you know, don't use cache or something. That's really nice. But check this out. Now I can go back in here. This bar down here is orange because, you know, the debugger is attached. And it says down here, start with debugging because that's the task that is running. That is like super duper cool. It's all because of these two files. That's the only thing I did. Okay, so now let's go in here, go into source. And I'm going to go ahead and let's go to app component. This is just the, you know, ng new, not, nothing special. So... I'll go ahead and set a breakpoint here, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh here. Now let's go back to VS Code, and you see here that a nice little breakpoint gets hit. This is like fantastic, isn't it? And also, I can go into this button on the left, and I can basically look at all the variables and you know everything yet that you'd expect from a proper debugger, like call stack and so on and so forth. If you're using a MacBook Pro, it shows you nice integration on the touch bar as well. It's step over step into all of those buttons. And when you're done, you just hit the stop button. Bingo.